Good afternoon, traders. It is Friday, November 6, 2015. The U.S. stock market is closed. Hey, I had some dental implants put in yesterday, and I've been um, kind of woozy all day uh, and didn't do too much posting. But it was a very exciting day, <laughs> and uh, I'll try and get catch everybody up here on what has happened. Uh, the, the Dow ended up closing up 47. They tried to take it down earlier today. Uh, it just won't go down. This is a bull market. Uh, and uh, really what we ended up doing is putting a bull spike in here. I am definitely calling the Dow up hard on Monday. I think this red line that it keeps flirting with, uh, it represents a launching point for uh, its move to record highs. And that could start on Monday. Uh, anyway, that's my thoughts on the Dow. We had a very interesting day. Uh, we closed out negative $8,000. Now, if I told you that and didn't tell you anything more, uh, you might think we had a really horrible day. And uh, basically, uh, our day was made uh, by two, two stocks, and we had bought both of them yesterday uh, pretty much on the high tick of the day. And normally when I buy things at the high tick of the day, I'm not too happy about it. Let me show you those two stocks. This is very interesting. This was the reason why we closed out negative $8,000. Uh, this is trip. Right up there, we bought the high tick of the day yesterday. And uh, earnings report came out and put trip in the toilet. And we ended up closing out negative seven thousand dollars on the trip. And uh, if nothing else happened today, that would have made for a very, very miserable day. Fortunately, we bought another uh, stock at the high tick of the day. This is a brand new stock for us. I uh, haven't taken a, a trade on it. And uh, I'll show it to you. This is Weight Watchers International. Brand new stock. Uh, I think some people might have thought until they saw this, I was crazy to put this thing in. Uh, our new portfolio, but I had looked at it and said, you know, hey, this looks really good. We bought. Weight Watchers International, pretty much on the high tech of the day outside the opening range anyway. And uh, it did absolutely nothing yesterday and closed against us. Didn't look good at all. Looked about as good as Trip did. Well, obviously an earnings report came out this morning <laughs> and this thing just screamed. Folks, up here, right up there, Weight Watchers International, our position is worth over $20,000. Uh, I did pull back a little. We're holding uh, a paltry $17,000 open trade uh, right now over the weekend. And we're just going to have to wait and see what happens on Monday. Uh, I am nervous about it. You know, we've had some very promising uh, stocks. Uh, profits will down quite a bit. I don't want to see this uh, will. Uh, I wish I could take $17,000 right there and be done with it, but that's not our system. So we'll wait until Monday to see what happens. But obviously with this trade, we end up carrying $20,000. $20,000 over the weekend and into Monday. So we did not have a bad day. We're holding uh, 12 new positions. Uh, seven are positive, five are negative, but this was the only big one. But it's a big one. In fact, you know, 
we took twenty thousand dollars out of this thing this would be uh, the biggest trade of 2015. Weight Watchers International brand new stock just put it in the portfolio anyway so had a good day this is Trader Bob signing off you guys have a great weekend and I'll be back here online on Monday